Hi guys, it's Bobby. Um, I told you a while back that I had was working with a black tape that I found. Um, I was making a folio last night and I thought, oh man, I should have done a video and shown you guys how to make this with the tape. This is what I have so far on the one that I'm working on and I have my magnets in it already. But you can see how nice it works out and it saves you a lot of black cardstock. So I thought I would run through this with a piece of lightweight cardstock and show you how it works. And then if you all are interested, then I'll give you, at the end of the video, I will give you um, the phone number and everything so that you can order some. I had thought at one time maybe um, I could order it in large enough quantity that we could all share in one order and save money, but... To get it cheap enough, I'd have boxes of tape all over my house, and I'm I'm not going in for that. So, I'll show you how I do it, and you can decide if it's something that would work for you. And then, if you want to order it, that's fine. Uh, but I do like it. So, what I'm going to do is this is one inch wide, and I'm going to put it halfway over my cardstock, and just cut it off. And then I'm just simply going to take the cardstock and roll it over to get a nice, good, clean edge. And then trim it off at the top, both of these ends. I need to get a pair of Teflon scissors for use when I do this because I'm constantly cleaning my scissors off. And then we'll put a piece at this end. You know, I first saw the black tape being used by uh, Claire Charvel at um, My Creative Spirit. And the only problem was shipping from overseas is so high. And that's the only reason I didn't order from them. And I thought, well, there's surely somebody in the U.S. sells black tape. And I looked high and low, and finally I found some. But you want to make sure, if you're going to use a tape, that you get something that doesn't have a high gloss to it because then when you go to put your papers down they don't want to stick to the gloss so it can't be anything like duct tape or any of that okay there's that now when you get to the third side one side you don't need to do because it's going to be um, your spine so when you get to the third side let me lay it on here and make sure I get it far enough down. I tried to use my grid on my mat because I'm not the straightest person in the world. Okay, so we're going to go here and here. I try to get it as straight as I can. Okay. And then you'll want to take this and lift it up just the corner and just kind of cut your miter in there like that. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. Lift it up and cut a little miter. Because this tape is kind of a grayish color on the back side and you don't want that to show on the front. It's sticking to me. Okay. And then again we're gonna, goodness, can't get rid of it. We're gonna roll it over again. Press it down, and then we'll miter this side. And every once in a while you'll get a little crease in it, and those creases normally will just push out with your fingernail or your bone folder. Let's miter this corner. Just takes the excess out and gives you a nice sharper corner. I didn't cut this one short enough. Let me snip that off. So there's your nice clean corners. Isn't that easy? Okay, and then to put your folio together, you're going to have your two end pieces, your two spines, and your center piece. So let's start with this one. And you want it to be longer this time. I hope I'm in frame where y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to be. 
Let me find where my end is right there. Okay. And we're going to put it about so. May not be quite even, but. Okay, and you want to leave extra on the ends to wrap over. Okay, so turn this over. And then you'll want to leave a little gap for your spine. And then you'll just bring this down over. And then we'll just add a piece right in here. This is going to be covered by uh, your hinges or other cardstock, so it doesn't make any difference that you're piecing it. There's that one. Now we'll turn it over and we'll do it again so we can get the center piece. Let me get it straight here. Like I said, I'm not into that. I should be, but okay, so we're gonna go here and about there. And I think it might be a little crooked, but it isn't gonna hurt. Yes, I am. Because we're gonna have paper there after all. Alright, now the centerpiece you only have to tape top and bottom. Because like I said, the spines are going to go on either side. So let's leave a little gap again. Not too much. And we'll bring this piece up. And this one down. And fill that in. On to the third one. Let's see if I can get it straight at all. So I can get a better idea of where I want to go. finger out of there. Oop, don't stick to that one. Now we need the next spine. And again, we'll bring these in. It goes together so quick. And then this will finish up this piece. And we got one more to add and we'll have a folio. At least the, <coughs> excuse me, the binding of it. Okay. inch. And about here. Okay, smooth that out. And we'll put this last end piece in. Leaving our little gap. 
We'll bring our tape over. And finish this one off. Take your bone folder and follow your your scores or your joints there. And do the same over here. And then you have a folio. And there you go. Isn't that easy? And it was so quick. Now you're ready to do your papers and your embellishment. So, um, let me give you the information on this. Um, it came out of the Uline catalog. And their number is 1-800-295-5510. And the product number, this is the colored tape down here. It comes in red, green, yellow kind of a gray, orange, purple, white, and black. I was hoping it would come in something close to craft, but I didn't. I don't see it there. But the product number for the black, it's one inch. And let me see what my... It is, the model number is S-2490B, like boy, L like, like Lincoln. And it is, they have a minimum order, I think it was six rolls it says 12 12 rolls is a dollar 60 each but that's still not too bad and think how much paper you'll save and the cost of your paper by using it wait a minute 24910 is 380 a roll that's what it is it's 60 yards one inch wide so that's that's a good buy and it saves you a lot of money on your uh, paper plus it's a lot faster to put it together so you can see how quickly that went and it's nice and smooth and even and you don't see any rough edges anywhere so okay guys that's all I have for you today I hope that helped you out give you some inspiration and some ideas Y'all have a good day, and I will see you soon. I will show you this other video when I get it put together of the one I started. All right, talk to you in the next video. You have a good day. Bye.